should Beard be drinking a can of the first Prime Minister's face today? For the second time. Be going down, people of the world! Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch! Welcome back to another Daily Drink vlog for the beer of the today! We have got a can of Track 85 Lagered Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company. Indeed, I tried another beer by these guys a while ago. I can't quite remember what it was or if I liked it or not. It was back there somewhere. Go to my page, search for Old Tomorrow. It'll come up somewhere. So yeah, Lagered Ale, hoping good. Let's crack her open for today's glass. Let's see what we have got. Yeah, it looks kind of loggery. Looks pretty clear, I think. Can't really tell yet. Definitely has a... Uh, a pungent aroma that's coming off it. I can already get it here. Doesn't smell bad though. Clear, like I said. Looks very nice. Lots of bubbles whirling up in there. Smells kind of lagery, but kind of not at the same time. A little bit ahead of my nose. It's always nice. Let's give her a shot. Oh my. That does not taste all that loggery. A little bit, but not very much. Absolutely no lingering aftertaste. It's a plus. Really don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's really not like the lagered ale part. It's an ale that's been lagered, whatever the hell that means. And yeah, I shouldn't have really been expecting all that much lager flavor. Very, very unique beer right here. I don't know, it's... It's not bad, but it's definitely not great either. Track 85 is inspired by the epic feat of uniting Canada by rail with the last spike driven in 1885. It celebrates the impossible challenges of forging a steel spine through ice, rock, and wilderness. Cold lagered for crispness, Track 85 is a delicate balance of subtle fruit notes and a mellow finish. It's one crisp ride. Maybe subtle fruit notes. Yeah. Doesn't have the full list of ingredients, but it says Canadian and German, German, German. Noble hops fused with Western prairie malts and two row barley. Sure. It's only 4.5% alcohol, so definitely a, a sessionable lagered ale. Yeah, there's a bit of fruitiness there. I don't know though, I'm just, I'm not really picking up what this can is putting down. Yeah, rock on. <sighs> we have to confess as well that um, in the next couple days, my computer may completely die. The uh, My liquid cooling system on my CPU, is beginning to crap the bed and make terrible sounds and my CPU has been getting ridiculously hot while encoding videos. So if that happens, I'm not gonna give up on this. I'll just have to make do with no cuts and just using my phone. So um, don't look forward to that. I'm really hoping that by the time my next paycheck comes in, I can allocate the funds to get the cooler replaced and everything will be good hopefully 
If you hear a sound in the background, that would be the fan that I have running on the inside of the computer with the case open to try to feed it more cold air, which seems to be working okay. I was able to encode a video after about 10 tries where the computer completely froze up on me. It's, it's not good for the computer to be doing that shit to it. I don't like it. It's gonna die. I don't want it to die. I wouldn't mind this beer dying. Ugh. Wouldn't mind that at all. I'm actually really, 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 really thinking that I'm gonna try to start putting some money aside so I can purchase a second computer. Nothing amazing, just something good enough to be utilized for nothing but encoding video. And when I say purchase a computer, I mean purchase the parts and build it myself. I'm not pre-made crap. Come on now. I build the shit myself. It's a lot more annoying, but I don't know, it gives you that sense of accomplishment when it finally works. Yeah. Like I said, it's not bad. There is a bit of fruitiness there. No real aftertaste. It looks pretty. Decent head. Okay lacing. Just the initial flavor of it isn't great for me. I almost forgot. Today being June 30th, on this date in 1859, French acrobat Charles Blondin, I think it's Blondin, it might be Blondin, I don't know, he crossed the Niagara Falls on a tightrope, which would be bloody terrifying. Terrifying! Also, in 1886, the first transcontinental train trip across Canada departed from Montreal and arrived in Port Moody, British Columbia on July 4th. Not really transcontinental if you're starting in Montreal, though. Really, there's a fair bit to the east still before you get to the other side of the continent. Also on this date, in 1937, the first emergency uh, telephone number in the world was started up in London, and it was 999. That's what they use over there, 999, which seems a lot easier to accidentally dial than 911. I don't know, 911 makes more sense to me, because they... they it just seems like you get a lot of missed calls, unless the way the phones, phone numbers in England are a lot different than they are here, so maybe it's a lot less likely to hit it there than it would be here. I don't know. Finally, on this date in 1953, the first Chevrolet Corvette rolled off the assembly line in Flint, Michigan. It's a pretty historic event. And, I don't know, maybe someday this will be looked at, looked back at by somebody that has way too much time on their hands as a historic event because it's drink numbers the last. It's it's historic because I've never had drink number the last on this beer or something. <clears throat> oh. Many untasty flavors came up with that burp. Bad beer! So, Old Tomorrow, your Track 85, Loggerdale. Even though I just, it wasn't a boy, it was a, it was a can, so I can do that. There, there have been a couple bought like that Red Racer shit. Oh, but bottles make messes. Cans don't break. Rating. It's a four. I'm going to give that one a 4, because, like I said, I wasn't really a fan, but it had a lot of decent qualities to it that I'm sure a lot of people would like, so... My opinion, not overly tasty. Another burp just happened. Son of a bitch. And I got a text. It's always fun. <laughs> Great timing! And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Kapyaw, kapyaw, kapyaw. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out.
refuses to stay upright. I put it upright like 50 times now, and I move a little bit, move, do something, fucking move. Yeah, see, it's not straight, but it didn't go as badly as I figured it would, and I just completely ruined my little thing I was doing, and 